was painting this painting at a live event at Sotheby's for the New York Academy of Art this week and thinking about what a lucky thing it is that I finally figured out how to paint hair. Because I can remember when I was first starting to learn how to paint, I like would laboriously try to paint like every strand of hair, you know, with like the tiniest brush that I had and it would look like stiff and stringy and like weird. Like, you know, I had sort of figured out how to paint the face, but the hair would just look like kind of weird. Um, but actually I had this background in animation and I'd been painting backgrounds for Ren and Stimpy and while I was, I the secretary there had actually introduced me to this brush which is called a grainer brush and you can kind of see I'm trying to get it really close to the camera with this clear background for you guys. You can kind of see that some hairs are longer and some hairs are shorter and it's so it's called a grainer brush and it's it's kind of a craft brush like for painting grass and things like that. But, and so that's what I was using it for as I was painting um, the backgrounds for animation. But when I started to paint like realistic portraiture, I realized it was perfect for painting hair. And so like I painted this painting in actually only two hours um, on Monday night. And, uh, you know, I was using it a lot for most of it because actually it, um, because it has some long hairs and some short hairs, it's really good for blending. So like, you know, if you kind of just like swoosh it across like a certain area or whatever, it kind of, it's almost like cross hatching. It'll just like subtly blend like the two colors together. And then for the hair, I was able to just like, you know, kind of do a little kind of wiggle with this brush and it would just make like a fuzzy little sort of edge. Um, and so I could just get like, I'll get a little closer here. I could just get like a little subtle little, you know, indication of, of the hair and just keeping it kind of like subtle, you know, just to suggest it. But it, it really worked and it worked quickly, thankfully, because I didn't have that much time. So I was just thinking about that because I was, yeah, yeah, painting this painting and remembering the trajectory of my hair painting process. Um, and it always makes me so happy whenever I like visit towns that I've taught in because I always recommend these brushes on the supplies list for my classes. And so all of the towns and cities that I teach in now, it used to be hard to get these brushes, but I noticed that they're fairly easy to get now. And, um, and they're also like on Amazon and I'll include a link in this blog for anyone who wants to buy them. But I also have a hair painting class where I talk about how to paint different hair colors first. So we do studies of red hair, gray hair, black hair, and um, what's the other one? And blonde hair, my hair. <laughs> um, and so kind of different textures of hair too. And then we finish with a refined painting of brown hair to sort of look at how to get like a finishing quality to the hair painting. So I'll include a link to that in the description of this vlog as well. And I'd love to hear what kind of tips and tricks you've figured out for painting hair and, and what your experience has been like learning to paint hair and, and figuring it out. So definitely leave a comment below and have an amazing week.